Hello everyone, this is Joan of Health and welcome to my channel. I'm so excited to be here and share my passion for health, weight loss, and lifestyle with women over 50. You see, as we age, it becomes even more important to take care of ourselves and maintain a healthy lifestyle. That's why I've created this channel to provide a space for women just like you to come together and learn the latest tips and tricks for living a healthy and fulfilling life. So whether you're looking to lose weight, improve your life, or simply learn more about leading a healthy lifestyle, this is a place for you. Are you a health conscious woman over 50 struggling to lose weight? Do you feel like no matter how hard you try, your efforts are futile? Well, you're not alone. In this video, we dive deep into the science behind why our brain blocks us from losing weight and why it's not your fault. You'll learn how to overcome these obstacles and finally achieve your weight loss goals. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and comment and share it. Also, if you stay to the end, I've got a great gift for you. Hello and welcome back. This is a tutorial where we talk about how the brain blocks weight loss. I know that I'm giving you a lot of information but I want to make sure that you understand as much as you possibly can about our body and how it works. So I have a question for you. Why is it that over 108 million Americans go on four to five diets per year and they fail? And worse yet, they gain more weight. Has this ever happened to you? Could it possibly be that our brains are blocking us from losing weight? Now, why would it do that? It seems contrary to the idea that our bodies are able to monitor, regulate, and heal themselves. And research shows that the foods we eat today from the standard American diet and our modern eating patterns are actually hijacking critical processes in our brain and it makes it nearly impossible to lose weight and keep it off. Most everyone on my programs have been through this before. And the purpose of learning how to eat through the Invisible Belly program is to actually reverse those processes and get your brain back on board with your weight loss goals. Now, the reason that someone who commits to this new way of eating stays with it and loses the extra weight and keeps it off long term is because the brain and the body, all right, they have one shared goal, right? And that's to lose weight and to live a healthy and happy lifestyle. So they all work together. Now, have you watched the Three Brains video yet? If so, then this makes sense, right? If you haven't seen it, you might want to pause this and go back to that video and watch that first, okay? So now, we're gonna talk about willpower. How much through your life have you felt like, I just don't have the willpower, I can't do it, you know, what's wrong with me? So, what is willpower? We often think of willpower as an aspect of our moral character or as a tool that gets more effective with increased commitment. How do we use it? <laughs> what do we do? We marshal it, right? If we have to marshal it, doesn't that suggest that all the willpower we need is there waiting for us on command? Like, hey, let me, let me use some willpower here. And then if we fail to use it, then shame on us. But willpower isn't what you think it is. And it doesn't, you know, it doesn't work how we, most of us think that it works. Think about this. Every January, millions of people start diets. And what do people do? They get all psyched up, right? They've set their New Year's goal. They've written out every, you know, their intentions, all the things that they want to do. And this time, it's going to work. What people don't realize is that these do-it-yourself diets and exercise plans, they're actually designed to rely on your willpower. They give you a meal plan, right? A shopping list, right? An exercise plan, and they tell you what to eat and not eat. And then they leave you alone to manage it all by yourself, right? That's why the gyms are packed in January and attendance levels fall back to normal in February. And this is why by spring, most Americans are all ready to start to hit their second diet because it's warming up. And willpower, it's a simple brain function. And even though studies have shown that there's a genetic component to how strong it is, 
there's a lot more to it than genetics. It's important to understand that willpower, it's not this, you know, button in your head that you turn on and so that you can resist temptation. It also governs other things like the ability to focus and it monitors our, you know, our task performance. It regulates our emotions and most important, it helps us make choices. So have you ever thought to yourself, at the end of the day, I cannot make one more decision. You tell your spouse or your roommate or your kids to choose dinner or pick the movie because you just can't. You're mentally spent. Can you relate? So that's what scientists call decision fatigue and it's real. All right, the entire brain runs on glucose and is especially sensitive to glucose fluctuations. And especially, you know, depending on what your diet is, you know, consists of. If you have a lot of coffee going on, you have a lot of sugar in your system, you're eating a lot of carbs, right? So when brain glucose levels drop, activity in this area slows to a crawl. (laughs) And the cruelest trick of nature is simply this. After we've been working for a few hours, or it's the end of the day, when blood sugar levels are at their lowest, Our brains abandon us and leave us and makes it incapable of making a wise choice about what to eat. Does this make sense? How many times have you started the day with the great intentions, right? I'm going to eat right. I'm going to stay on my diet. Only to end up ordering takeout or pizza for dinner because you were just exhausted. You tell yourself, oh, well, I'll start again tomorrow. Or you've been working really hard for a few hours and you're at the office and then people are passing around donuts or you go down to the break room and there's croissants, there's leftover birthday cake and and and, and you just, you can't help but you eat them. And it's not because you're weak, it's because you are normal. Now here's the big aha. Get this, resisting temptation is one of the key things that actually depletes our willpower. People spend an average of four hours, that's four hours a day, resisting some kind of a temptation or some desire, like, you know, you're you're craving candy, or, you know, you, you want to go to sleep, or you're craving sex, or you're checking phone book, or you're looking at social media or the news. But guess what? Guess what the number one desire people spend their energy resisting? You guessed it, it's food. Food. By far, it's the number one thing we want. We think about it for more hours than our brains have the capacity to resist it. And if you're thinking to my, and you're saying, no, that's not true, it is true, and most of the time it's subconscious, okay? So now are you see, starting to see why the idea that someone could lose weight by just having willpower is ridiculous? So now that you're on the Invisible Belly Weight Loss and Wellness Program, we do not rely on willpower. We have systems and structures in place, and we give you a choice. All right, thank you, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching. This is Joan of Health. Please like and share this video, and also make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so. We'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.